Hey guys, it is the High Duke of Angus here with another Steam tutorial video, I guess you could say. And this today we're going to do on how to install maps for Left 4 Dead. And it's pretty simple, really. If you have Google Chrome, it's a lot faster. But um, what you want to do is you want to go to this website called Custom Maps, or, well, that's just a tag for it, I guess. It's called LeftForDeadMaps.com, but it's L4DMaps.com. And, you know, you get, you get a good bit of a. Uh, cool stuff here. You know, you get um, some mods for Left 4 Dead 1 and Left 4 Dead 2. Campaigns, maps, mods, including survival, like you can see right here. An awesome map that I play, Helm's Deep. It's incredible. You guys can download that. And I the same rules apply, so I guess we can do this. I already have it, but why not? Now, what you want to do is, I mean, yeah, just click the download button up here if you find the one you want. This goes for pretty much every map on here. And out of these here, you probably want to do the one closest to you. So do like New York for me. I do that one. Wherever state you live in, do the state closest to you. Because I've heard people say that before. And now you're going to start downloading. And I probably shouldn't have done that. But I guess we can sit through it. Anyway, what you do is, once you're done downloading this, and you can register if you want, which makes it go faster, but this, it's free, and you don't have to make a username or anything. But, you know, so once that's done, we'll just forget about that for right now, a little box will pop up, you know, like your little download box, you can open that, and it'll have the file in there. What you want to do is you go to local disk, and then the program files, Find your uh, Steam folder, then go to Steam Apps, your username, uh, oh, I'm sorry, not your username, common, the common file, uh, then find Left 4 Dead 2, then click on Left 4 Dead 2, no spaces, and the add ones box, if you can slow that down if you want to. Now, there's all, oh, hang on, there's all your add ones, okay? And once this done, once it gets done downloading, <coughs> yeah, a little thing will pop up down here, and it'll say, you know, download, and it's downloading, and it'll have a little download thingy. That's for Windows 7, by the way. You just click on that, a little arrow on the side, you click on that, pop that up, and it'll say open, you open the file, then all you have to do is just simply drag, click, and drag into here, all these. So you'll just click and drag into there. So hope you guys hope this helped you guys out a lot. And um, thanks for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. And have a nice day.